All right, let's get to the big story here on the show, though, when it comes to celebrity dirt, because I saw this yesterday <laughs> and could not believe it became a reality. I, I couldn't believe it. No one you guys couldn't believe it. Woo! How do you think I feel? Woo! Our very own James <laughs> met his very own idol, John Cena, yesterday. This is something James has been oh talking about on the show for years. This is something listeners have tried to make happen on social media for years. James tweeting. has tried to make happen. James has tried the most, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's to the point where he's got me blocked on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. It's so, so yeah. hard. Little does he know that was the guy he met yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, James did actually meet his idol, his number one man crush, John Cena yesterday. Never give up. Never give up. It's what he says. It's the mantra to live by, and it actually paid off for me in the long run. Now, uh, I want to, like, full disclosure, I would say I it was more so I shared a moment with John Cena <laughs> uh, and less of, like, I, I, I met him. I, I was there, but there wasn't a moment where I was like, hi, John, my name is James. Right. Pleasure to meet you. It was, I was there to MC a screening of the new Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. They knew, like, what a big fan I was in the Detroit area, and they were like, hey, we had this opportunity where we're trying to get John Cena to surprise this this audience. Um, we don't know for sure if he's going to be able to make it there, but it's in the works to have him here. Could you be the one that brings him in to the into the theater and introduce him and get the crowd all hyped up? And I'm so like, you didn't even tell us about this because you weren't sure it was going to happen. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't know for sure until I actually showed up to the theater and they're like, "Cena is on the way. Get in front of that crowd and start doing <laughs> trivia." I'm like, okay, here we go. It's going to Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Were you scared to death? Was oh, your heart Lisa, just racing? Oh. I've been <laughs> clenching my butt cheeks because yeah. I feel like I got diarrhea. I bet there was sweat. For an entire week. <laughs> like once they, there was even an inkling of it, I was like, oh my God. There's going to be, we're going to link to these pictures at DaveAndCheckTheFreak.com in a moment. But there is James introducing John Cena. There's him handing the microphone off. Look <laughs> at James' the, face. Is I was in shock. He was in shock. We were both in shock. But take a listen to him introducing John Cena at the uh, screening here, if we can. Special guest coming in to say there hi we and welcome you. He is the 16-time WWE <laughs> champion. He's the star of the Suicide Squad. He's the peacemaker himself. Everybody make some noise for John Cena. <laughs> 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 oh my god. What a moment, James. What a moment. It was such a cool Here's a different angle. <laughs> so then John Cena went on to welcome the crowd to the film. So great. Um, it was amazing. So we great. touched. He touched my hand. <laughs> he went to, I was handing him the mic. He didn't have to touch my hand. That's exactly. true. He didn't have to touch hand. your hand. It. I noticed he that. So we had that hand. moment there. Like yep. We came in physical contact, and I knew I was in love for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Will forever be a Cena mark. Like, I hope it does happen, like a face-to-face -face meeting eventually. Yeah. But in a way, <laughs> like, this way was maybe a bit better because I feel like you, it could have been you on the news. Uh, much less emotional just about balling. it this way. Yeah. Just yes. balling. Yeah. Falling. Like, that, like a make-a-wish child. You, exactly. If right. you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> just like that. Yes. If you yeah. tried to tell John Cena, like, all the great things, like, the reasons why you think he's a great guy, I think you'd be emotionally well up in front of him. Oh, absolutely I would. I know like, it. Yeah, no. And that'd be I embarrassing. And, but also, at the same time, I'd feel so good that I got that off my chest and could let him know that information um, he deserves to know. Absolutely. My favorite thing, though, is so James representing the show. He's wearing a Dave and Chuck the Freak T-shirt at the screening, and yeah. um, it made the paper. But in the paper picture, James has the biggest <laughs> bucket of popcorn yeah. you've ever seen in your life. He's so happy, he looks like, he looks Are you like so kidding? Happy. Look at the glow on have his have face, but he's holding like a bucket of popcorn. That's right over my yeah. crotch, too. That's oh my God. Perfect, perfect placement That there. might be like the most perfect James day. It really is. Oh, it's oh the happiest I've ever seen James in my life. Yeah.
It was it was a blast yeah. yesterday. Yesterday I had so much fun. My voice is gone. I was yeah. screaming at Cena while I was wrestling. Uh, <laughs> got to do the intro. Got to see the movie. Uh, it was uh, all around. It was a, it was a good day. The summer of Cena is a spectacular moment in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Want to write a song about uh, it? Everyone wanted to know if you got a boner. There were so many people asking that question on social media. No, Completely. no boners were involved. Luckily, because yeah. it wasn't that uh, as intimate of a conversation. You did That's a awesome. great job at introducing. Thank them. you. And yeah, like you a Natural, like you couldn't yep. tell you were nervous no. or, or anything. Thank no. you, because I was sweating. I <laughs> sure. can't even imagine. Sweating, like you, you wouldn't believe. Almost pooped yourself, yeah. but you yeah. held it together. Yeah, I felel like I had diarrhea like for an entire week. <laughs> Luckily, like, you oh. hadn't eaten most of that popcorn before the introduction. <laughs> no, that was immediately after the intro because I do the intro <laughs> and then like I think Cena was supposed to grab a mic, so I think that's why he was kind of surprised at the get go because he he was like signing autographs in this little room, and then I'm like John Cena, yeah, and he just comes running out like he. Does does uh, his entrance into the ring, and I think he forgot to grab the mic. So then we embraced, and he grabbed my hand and grabbed the mic, uh, and then he started embraced. talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's he, he forgot to grab his mic on the way out because oh, he yeah. saw me. No one's such. A, uh, I was such a huge super fan that he's like, I just got to come out there and save this guy from exactly. Well, the pictures of this uh, and the video are going to be up it's at cool DavidCheckTheFreak.com very soon if you want to go check oh, it out Oh, very cool. He doesn't need to do it. He's such a big celebrity. He doesn't nah, need I was going to say things, it's, so. it's cool of him to do it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The franchise, up. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's definitely a bucket list moment. Uh, one of my for one of my proudest and meaningless achievements. I keep track of like, <laughs> silly things that really don't matter to other people, but are huge moments in my life. And that's, that's one, one of them that's right there. That's definitely one of them. So. And Jason wanted to add something here. You think this is proof of something, right, Jason? Yeah, I just think uh, for anybody out there, all you got to do is build a shrine, pray to it, and dreams come true. Manifest. Yeah. It's, it's manifestation yeah. at, its, at its best. Surround yourself by action figures of the thing you want, and uh, you can have it. It's like my own little kind of like homoerotic voodoo. I just hope you got a strain of hair. the only time in life that has ever happened, yeah. by the way. That might be my new religion, homoerotic voodoo. Yeah. I got six action figures behind me and a uh, magazine he's on the cover of all here in, in the office. You guys can see it on the peep show behind me when you check it out. Oh, the universe is weird. I'm yeah. just going to say the universe is weird. And I'm, I'm grateful it for is. the weirdness. Yep. And-